This is George from iTech Legion. For years, Swift Tech's been on top of the game as far as GPU blocks go with their Komodo series. But as times change and things become more and more aesthetically driven, Swift Tech has upped their game with a new Komodo Luxury Edition, which not only provides all the performance and cooling you'd come to expect from a Swift Tech GPU block, but also adds a bit more what they're calling luxury, as it is the Luxury Edition, as well as some really fantastic aesthetics. Now, first thing I want to point out, uh, today we are looking at the Komodo NVLE, which is obviously the NV stands for NVIDIA. It is compatible with the GTX 780, 780Ti, and Titan. There is also uh, a Komodo R9LE, which is compatible with the uh, R9 290 and 290X. But today, like I say, we're only going to be looking at the NVIDIA piece. The R9 uh, piece also has exactly the same features we're looking at today. First thing I do want to get out of the way, uh, both do come with the black anodized backplate, beautiful backplate as you see, with thermal pads pre-applied in the appropriate areas. So we'll just get that out of the way, very simple piece. Uh, even more simple is of course the Swift Tech box, plain black box, nothing to see there. So let's get that out of the way and take a look at the NVLE itself. Now, first thing you notice, looks like from the top, standard Swift Tech block. Uh, full cover block, as you see, thermal pads pre-applied. This is all copper with actual chrome plating. It is not nickel plating, it's chrome plating, so it's gonna be less um, likely to discolor or corrode in any way, shape, or form. It is the finest application of chrome that you can actually get on a water block itself. Thermal pads, like I say, are pre-applied in all the appropriate areas. You, no need for you to be sticking anything on there. And like I say, really nice looking block itself. Now you notice also on the front, uh, here on the side that goes against the card, small plug, which is gonna go into the fan plug of uh, the GTX 780. Titan uh, 780 Ti, whichever it is, that's actually gonna control the LED, which is built in. And we'll get around to the other side in a second to take a look at that. So we've got some great workings going on here. You can see clearly the block uh, for the GPU itself. G1 quarter plugs, obviously top and bottom for your in and out. Now, moving around, taking a look at the side. You've got the standard Swift Tech logo that we've seen on all the Komodos pr uh, previously right on the side of the block, very, very nice looking. But you notice now we've got this strip of acrylic. This is actually going to light with the LED itself, as is the Swift Tech logo. On the bottom, where it was traditionally in the Komodo blocks, it was always just black anodized aluminum, or black anodized uh, metal, I should say. Now you've got a window which also illuminates and you can see the flow through the window. Uh, obviously not very visible in most cases, but really a nice touch and it's gonna give a nice glow underneath it. Now it does come with a color change kit, uh, white, green, blue, and red. Blue is pre-installed from the factory as we're seeing on all the current uh, Swift Tech pieces. So you will get a glow of blue from the Swift Tech logo around the outer edge, as well as from the window here. Really a fabulous looking piece from Swift Tech. Um, like I say, really just engineered very well. Now, one of the things I might want to add, uh, it's a moderate restriction block, so you can use smaller pumps. Also, it's made to take advantage of lower flow situations. Uh, it works very well with lower flow pumps. So if you are using a smaller pump or if you're using a pump uh, such as a D5 PWM or um, an MCP pump uh, with you know variable speed, it's going to work when you turn down the pump and keep the temperatures down. So it is actually optimized to work with low flow as well as high flow. Great engineering job from Swift Tech and really just a fantastic looking piece. Uh, something else I might want to add, it's an incredibly solid piece. Weighs in at 20, uh, 1,247 grams. So, I mean, it's solid, it's heavy, beautifully constructed. You're not gonna see any warping. You're not gonna see any bending. Uh, one of the other things Swift Tech has done is absolutely finely milled absolutely everything. So when it is tightened down, you won't see a bend in your circuit board. It's really just a beautifully constructed piece from Swift Tech. 
getting a look at the uh, accessories for the Komodo NV LE. Uh, first thing, of course, is the installation manual. Uh, funny thing being here, it's all pictures. There are no words whatsoever. So you just need to follow along with the pictures. It's a very, very simple install. Make sure you take note of which screws are used where. There are three screws that are different than the rest of them. Uh, that do go in a different uh, in one particular location. So just keep an eye on that uh, as well as here and on the back instructions for changing out the colors for the LED. Moving on, got a tube of Swift Tech Tin Mate, two black plugs. Obviously, there are four connectors on the unit. If you're only using two, you've got two plugs, your screws. We're attaching the block itself. Small Allen wrench, which is going to be used to change out colors for the LEDs. Now I did say it shipped blue. I take that back. It actually ships with green installed and comes with a red and blue strip for changing out the LED colors. Um, it can also be white simply by removing the strip. Uh, you can also get a clear strip if you like. Um, and color it any color that you so desire. So very simple accessory kit. Once again, like I say, just be very careful. Make sure that you follow the uh, installation instructions as carefully as you can, as there's no writing pictures only. Now let's take a look, quick look at the color change. Uh, as I said, it does ship green, not blue, as I stated earlier. And now if you look at the bottom of the block, uh, um, opposite side of the block, whatever you want to call it, there's a small rectangular cutout down here with two Allen screws in the middle. Uh, take your included Allen wrench, and you're just going to want to loosen them up and remove them. I've already gone ahead and done, obviously, most of the removal here, rather than having you sit through it. Take that up top cover will come right off and you'll see inside green strip is included right there and you can just pop that strip out and you now have white so now if I wanted to go obviously to blue I would simply replace it with the blue strip, push it in any color you like. As I say, comes with the green, red, blue, and um, leaving nothing in there gives you white illumination. I'm actually doing a completely black and white build, so that's exactly how I'm going to leave it at this point. So all that's left to do, obviously, pop that back on and put your two screws back into place. Getting to the block assembly of the Komodo NVLE, uh, first step, you've got protective material on all the uh, thermal pads that it's going to need to come off on the top, as well as, of course, on the block. And make sure you get all the pads, not just the large ones. With that done, I've already applied the thermal interface material to the GPU itself. Got the plug, which is going to plug in right next to the power input on your 780 Titan, 780 Ti, whichever you happen to be using. And you want to line up screws as closely as possible so you come straight down onto the GPU with the thermal interface material. You'll be able to see the screw holes. the holes in the board and you want to come like I say as straight down as you possibly can. It actually lines up very well and uh, pretty easily compared to a lot of other blocks we've worked with just because it's so thick uh, that it actually sits pretty flush. Next obviously the back plate will go into place. 
And again, you want to try and come straight down, get everything lined up as best as you can. And start putting in your screws. These are very tiny. I'm using a zero Phillips to put them in. And again, you want to just start them. I like to start around the GPU and work from there. You just want to get them started. Don't snug them up too much. We're going to snug them down later. Now, as you go around, you're going to want to snug down all of your screws. Around the GPU, be a little careful. I'm going to snug down one, go across diagonally. Get your second snug. And again, way down. I've already snugged up down here. You will feel a Pretty definite stopping point. You don't want to over tighten. And with the first 11 in, next we're going to move on to the three screws that are a little different. Shows you in the instructions. They actually have a pointed head. They're not a bolt. They're an actual screw. And they go down at the end and will actually go into the plastic rather than into the metal. And again, you just want to get them snug down. Don't over tighten. On a very obviously easy assembly. Especially having all the thermal pads in place made life very, very simple. That's really all there is to it. And you're in, you're on, ready to go into the case. And one last thing before you do it, go into the case. Down at the end, two screws, should say bolts, go into the end. And we'll hold your outside plate in place when you're mounting and goes right into the block itself. And just taking a quick look, you can actually see through. There's daylight you can see through uh, and you can look across the board. And as you see, everything's lined up absolutely perfectly. You've got no flex, no bend to the board, uh, really, really finely tooled by Swift Tech. So let's get it in the case, see how it performs. First, taking a look at the loop. So we used a bigger loop here. Uh, we want to try and keep the water temperature going to the block as consistent as possible. So we did use a larger loop, a little more consistency in the water temperature, just isolate out the performance of the Komodo NVLE itself. Now, taking a look at that performance, typically we only expect, you know, a degree or possibly two to separate uh, the top end blocks. But here, the Komodo NVLE really performed very, very well. Surprisingly well, as a matter of fact. Well enough that I actually retested the other blocks just to make sure that we were getting accurate numbers, and we were. The uh, Komodo NVLE, as far as air GPU temperature, you know, you were looking at about a four and a half degree difference between that and the uh, XSPC Razor uh, Titan model on the uh, GTX 780, and even a little bit better on the EK water block. Uh, as far as the liquid GPU delta, you know, you've got a couple degree difference there as well. Uh, very consistent with, you know, what we'd expect to see, uh, you know, as far as air and liquid. But the performance of the Komodo NVLE is really outstanding. Um, probably one of the best blocks, if not the block we have uh, best block we have tested to date. Something worth noting and pointing out is just how uh, nice the bottom of the block looks once it's installed and lit up. I know in most cases, it's going to be, uh, in most builds, I should say, it's going to be hidden. But in some builds, you know, obviously it's going to be visible. Uh, in cases where it's hidden, it's going to give a nice glow to the bottom of the case. Uh, where it's visible, obviously, it's going to be absolutely fantastic looking. Now, coming up on top to look at the Komodo uh, LE installed in the case. I mean, it's really just a beautiful piece of equipment. Swift Tech did a beautiful job with the design on this. It looks fantastic in the case. Um, every bit, you know, the luxury edition that they uh, touted as. So you've got really nice lighting on the surround. The lighting underneath, you know, gives you a nice little accent underneath. You've got the beautiful polish on the anodized uh, top plate, as you see, or I should say back plate. Very nice looking with the Swift Tech logo lit up on the side. Really a fantastic looking piece. Uh, also really nice was the fact that it was very, very easy to assemble. Uh, you know, there was no struggling with it. No, you know, trying to line up this, line up that. No trying to um, 
get a washer to stay in place, you know, while you put the back plate on. It was simple, straightforward, easy installation. Now, of course, the performance is what is earning this, the High Tech Legion High, uh, Editor's Choice Award. I mean, the performance on it was absolutely phenomenal. Typically, we only expect a couple of degrees variance between uh, blocks, uh, you know, any type of high-end block. But this, you know, absolutely took two higher, you know, two very well-respected high-end blocks and just absolutely showed them up. The performance on the NVLE was absolutely incredible. You know, and like I say, it's really that that's going to put it into a High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award. Um, it is a little expensive, you know, at $179, but the back plate is included. So you are looking, you know, at about $30, $40 more than, you know, um, comp uh, competing units. But I definitely think it's worth every penny. I mean, you look at it in the case, it looks fantastic. Performance was unbelievable. Installation was, like I say, an absolute piece of cake. I mean, as far as a uh, full cover block goes, right now, the Swift Tech LE series is definitely the one to beat. Whether it be the R9 LE or the NV LE, Swift Tech really has uh, the market cornered on the high end with this one.